My people, can't see how this biggest Funani agenda in Nigeria. <laughs> they say they don't open a more. <laughs> Funani people get waiting they get for Nigeria. And this man don't come outside. They come vomit everything. Come outside. I want you to watch this video from beginning to end. I'm not going to waste your time, but I want you to pay attention to this video that I'm about to play you now. Please share the video as you they watch them. Stay tuned and watch the video. Where's the Fulani question taking Nigeria? Well, there's only one way it is taking Nigeria. It is to destroy the country. To destroy the space. Well, it has destroyed the country. And that's why I say we have now a space. It is to take over that space and drive away. Kill as many as they can kill. Rape as many as they can rape. Do whatever. Plunder as many as much they can. And take ownership of a place that never belonged to them. That is where they are taking Nigeria to. And uh, the resistance that will follow their ambition, their, uh, their nefarious plans, is the, that will bring out the confrontation that will nail the coffin of a place they used to call Nigeria. It will nail it? Oh yes, certainly. There's already a coffin? Certainly, certainly. There's no doubt in my mind. The, the, the Fulani, are, they may be politically savvy because of their advisors in, in, in Britain and US, but they are too, they are too unintelligent to want to take over the space called Nigeria. They are too unintelligent to think that they can ever become owners of, the, of this place. It's, it's, just, it's just not possible. Is that not a conspiracy the Intelligent theory? people will not attempt. Any intelligent people who cannot take over ordinary Biram in Plateau State, who have tried for more than 25 years and they have not been able to conquer Biram, just Biram, and take it over, who have never dared to attack a single village in Lantan, will now dream that they can overrun the entire Igbo land or overrun a Yoruba land. But what, where is that theory coming from? Which theory? This theory of Fulani wanting to take over our land. Is it not a conspiracy theory it's not a that might tear us apart? No, it's not a conspiracy theory. They tried it. They tried the plateau. Plateau is almost 100% a Christian place. Bochi is about 80% Christian. Nasarawa is about 90% Christian. Niger State is about 60% Christian. Let's see what is there now. Uh, Benue had been completely ravished. Kogi State is under continuous attack. And they come, they displace the people there. They settle there. They, I mean, when you go to Sangu Katav, Sangu Katav has virtually become a Fulani enclave, which wasn't so 20 years ago. It wasn't so uh, during time, Lekwot gave them resistance. What I'm saying, therefore, is that the way they have plundered Benway, that people there can no longer go to their farms, they go into the houses, kidnap, rape, uh, so on and so forth. The plan is to continue. Once they will have taken over the old place, it's now to move downward south. That they've now moved to the east, they've moved to south south, they've been killing people in Delta, they're doing the same thing in Yoruba. You can now see that it is the same pattern. That was the way it started when in between 1804 and 1880, uh, Yungfa, the supreme head of the, of the Hausa kingdoms, of the Hausa seven kingdoms, were massacred and they took over and then in, installed emirs in these places. And they not relented. It's the same dream that they want to continue now that they had a man who had greater sympathy for their cause than they, than they ever had. Then what is unique about the Fulani that gives the Fulani the boldness to make the attempts you have just described, which the Sultan will not agree with him? I know Sultan now, they've now seen, that's what I'm saying, they've now seen that it's not possible, that they're just, they're just being stupid and misguided by their few leaders who are selfish and uh, ignorant. You know, um, Albright, the former U.S. Uh, Secretary of State warned the United States that you are becoming the most hated country in the world because of the way you are behaving. So that's the same way now Sanusi and the, the, the general in the Sokoto who is a sultan, is also, they are also warning their people that if you are not careful, the way you are going with this, your madness, you become so hated. What is it that is emboldening you that you continue this, of this, of this murderous journey? Chief Adini, from your analysis, it has been an ongoing process, right? Yes, since 1804. So it's not about Buhari? No, 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 not to do Buhari. But, but they found a champion in Buhari when he came to power. When you say a champion, yes. what do you mean? Because he's the, he's the president of the, he's the patron of the, of the, of, of the Miet, Miet, Mietala. So that does not mean he's supporting them. He's just a full animal. No. He's just a coincidence. No. He's, he, he's the one 
is the head of state, is the one that has agreed to rehabilitation of the so-called uh, Boko Haram people, is the one that has agreed that 1,400 1, of them be rehabilited in, back into the army. Uh, what, what other evidence do you need? What other evidence do you need? But it's not the first time people who fought a war are being taken into the army. It has happened no, in no. other parts of the world. No, 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 no. They, they didn't fight a war. You cannot talk, you are not, we are talking of insurgents. It's not a war. No, 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 no. Insurgents are different from fighting a war. These are, these are, these are murderers. Even the FARC rebels in Colombia, some of them have been given space to come in. Colombians were not waging the, they, they, you have to make the difference in all these things. Mm. Colombia, Biafra, whatever, they were not motivated by a mad project of overrunning people and taking over their land. In, 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 in Colombia and others, they were fighting uh, majorly on drugs. In Biafra, they wanted to have their own country. It's different from somebody setting out to say, I want to take you out of your number two uh, in Sadeusi in Bodija and drive you out of your room and your house or your family and go into the bush and take over your family and take over your place. There's a deep, there's a, so they are not a question of throwing people who have been fighting wars and they have been rehabilitated. No, this is the difference. That you, don't in, you don't ever rehabilitate insurgents. So how do we counter what is called the Fulani invasion? How can it be countered in the interest of the Nigerian state? The way is being countered, one of the ways, now the Yoruba are started with their Amoteko. Uh, I'm sure even though the Igbo nation agreed that they will, that is their governors, not their people. The governors say, okay, we'll go with their community policing, which is still extension of Nigerian police, which is ineffective and compromised. But the, when they say Indigo, had dissociated themselves from the governor's uh, agreement that they will just do community policing and that they're going to do their own amotek or something similar to that. The South South is also doing the same. So that is one of the ways they're going to counter this, this, this madness. But more than that, whether you have amotek or you have uh, whatever other uh, vigilante or whatever assistance you may have that want to fight and so, uh, intrusion to their lands, people now are emboldened to claim their lands. Nobody anywhere in Nigeria, even in Kasina, even in, Sab in Sambora, even in Nasarawa, nobody now is afraid of the so-called Fulani. And so, and that's why I say sooner or later, uh, it will come to the open. They, 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 they put veil on the eyes and faces of so many people for maybe 200 years, but that veil has fallen off. And so you cannot have anybody that will, be, that will submit to intimidation from any other section of this country again, for, of, of, of this space. The Igbos are spitting fire. Yes. The Yorubas are spitting fire. Yes. Even the Fulanis are spitting fire. Do we want to set the country ablaze? You are a seasoned broadcast journalist, very intelligent, educated. You know, sir, that the country is already on fire. The country has been on fire maybe the last eight years. But the fire became more pronounced in the last four or five years. The country has been on fire. We can douse the tension, can't we? We can douse the tension if just one thing, if those who are sponsoring the aggression can call the aggressors to order. Is the Sultan as influential as he should be? He ought to be more influential. It's not as much as you, I, I agree with you. Otherwise, they won't be stoning his palace uh, two weeks ago in Sokoto. But having said that, uh, the Sultan, uh, to a large extent, is respected beyond Sokoto because people, a lot of people see him as a bridge builder. A lot of people see him as fairly being level-headed. A lot of people see him as a Fulani Sultan that is reasonable. He has a master's degree, he was general in the Nigerian army, and they expect that um, he will use his education, exposure, and obeying nature to influence the course of things. So even if he doesn't have as much influence as he ought to have had, I think he can build it up gradually because people like myself, my humble self, tend to see some respectability around him, which we believe can help in governing his people you to know, a path of reason. You know, some would say that the North is caught up in its past, in yeah. the conflict is cre created. That's right. It remains one of the poorest zones in Nigeria. The poorest, not one, suddenly poorest. And now we're talking about the Northwest here. The poorest in Africa, if you want to say. And if you look at them, that is, has become the zone of conflict. Yes. Even in Nigeria. Yeah. 
you have banned it in Katsina. Just a wonderful people, you don't see them. Everybody for Nigeria don't open their eyes. Mazin Namdekalo did a great work. That is why Funani are very, very angry for Mazin Namdekalo. Nobody is afraid of Funani again. In the Even in Hausa Sef want to take over their land from the Funani. And the, these people are desperate. That's why they are running to bring you IDP in, uh, in South East. So that tomorrow you, you will see, they will tell you must State now have a Funani village. <laughs> they said that the Lagos State government, oh, they said they don't accept the IDP where they want carry come for him or state. Oh, the man said, May they carry and come give the Yoruba people, yes, best in the same feathers. <laughs> that is the people how I tell the share Nigeria and I want to get that make on a solve on ourselves for inside that area. So the IDP in Imo State, they don't carry and go Yoruba land. I beg now, I call for celebration. Congratulations to the Oduduwa people. Please share this video. I see the heart.